Welcome back. Now, let's make a path. I want this to pick up the pen just as it would at the robot itself. Okay? Should have these two positions. If not, view my video before this and we'll get these two P pick and P counts locations. So now we want to create a routine. Um, so in the robot studio, they call this a path. So if I drop the arrow down, you'll see I've got two options. Um, we're not going to do auto paths yet, but you're going to start with an empty path. It means that it doesn't have any instructions or any route targets in it. You'll notice that that shows up underneath paths and procedures. And remember, if you don't have all this expanded, you may not see where it goes. But it's right there. It's called path 10. I don't want to call it path 10. I want to call it like um, pick or something that tells me what it's doing. pick. Now, I can take this routine, and I've already got, if I open up WobJ0, my two positions that I want it to go to. So I can just drag and drop these down to our pick, but I need to be clear on what kind of instruction I'm writing. So if you look down at the lower right of your screen, you're going to see an instruction template. Um, my first move should be a move J, just in case the robot can't get to that position in a linear fashion. Um, so I'm going to switch my instruction template to a move J, um, probably speed up the velocity. Um, I got mine at 7,000, um, maximum speed. And um, I'm just going to, now that that's set, just going to drag and drop P pounce because I want it to go above the cup first and drop it in our pick. You'll notice another one of those carrot arrows opens. Um, there's my instruction, move J to P pounce. And if I hover, you'll see it also tells me the zone the velocity, and the work object that I'm using. So now I'm there. I want to go down into the cup. So I'm going to change my template because this should be a move L. And um, much slower, velocity of 80, and definitely a fine um, zone. So now I'm going to drag and drop P-Pick and let go. And there it is. Now I'm imagining that this has not uh, selected or it has not closed the gripper because um, I don't have the smart tools active in this program right now. But I have to assume that it's not in there. So the next thing that would happen is you'd have a slight wait time to allow that position to, to catch up. So that's under other create action. Drop down under instruction templates to wait time. And where it says end of list, you should be able to highlight those words and replace it. Actually, any of these can be highlighted and replaced with a number. 0.2 seconds. Create. Shows up down here under our pick. Now I want to close the gripper. If you remember, that is a set digital output, not digital output 10-1. Scroll down and find uh, the gripper. Create. Now we've got the gripper closed. Um, now I'm going to do another wait time. And I'm going to highlight end of list, put in 0.2 seconds, create. You can see all of these instructions um, populating underneath our pick. Um, so now I've closed the gripper. I've waited 0.2 seconds. Now I should go back up to P pounce. I'm going to leave my template at a move L. Um, so I'm going to go back to P pounce and let go. All right, that is it for creating this routine. Um, I know it works if I right click on the routine and I say move along path, give it a second and you'll watch the robot go through the motions as the instructions have um, been written. So that is it for creating um, your first routine. Um, thanks for watching.